Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today there's no opera but we are looking at the new Scotty Cameron Phantom. Remember, if you like our channel, please hit that subscribe button and tell all your golfing friends. So the Scotty Cameron Phantom range, a most one of the most popular ranges of putter out there for sure. I know, I'm playing one, I'm playing one of the old 5.5s, but the new models look fantastic. There are seven models in the new head that are released now, and in May, middle of May, 17th I think it is of May, you're gonna have the long design model, so the slightly bigger heads. So, what have Scotty changed? Well, they don't change a lot with these sort of putters. The, the design looks a little bit different. There's a better sight line, so there's dots and there's lines. There's a little bit more to help the alignment of the goal, for the golfer. In terms of the feel, you're gonna get that Scotty Cameron feel. The stainless steel face, it works. Um, it's a good looking putter. They have changed the grip this year, so to make sure that the grip really has, uh, you, you can hold it and there's complete contact um, with the grip. Um, I'm not so sure about it, to be brutally honest with you. It's not, I was expecting the, the old traditional wind style grip on this, but this rubber grip looks okay. Um, it's a, got a funky shape to it and a really weird end, which is quite bizarre to look at. But overall, it's a Scotty Cameron putter. They're, they are gonna sell, we know they're gonna sell. They are fantastic. I'm gonna hit a few putts and tell you what I think. Um, they're not cheap though, they're not cheap these things, they are quite expensive, they always will be, but let's have a little hit and see what they feel like. So I've got the 5.5 here and the 9.5 in my hand. I quite like the look of the new 9.5, um, these kind of wing back, it looks a bit like Batman, doesn't it? Um, looks really tight, I like the slightly smaller head on this. I traditionally have played 5.5, so this would be my newer version of the, the current part that I putt with. When you pop them down, they look nice and neat, to be honest with you. They sit really well. We know with Scotty Cameron putters that they're very well built, very well made. Um, they look, they do look lovely. Um, now that I've put the, the putter down, the actual grip feels better. On first take, it didn't feel um, that fantastic, if I'm honest. Uh, not cheap, though, I said earlier. 429, these putters. So, Whereas you've seen some of the other brands, Spider, TaylorMade Spider, and uh, the Odyssey AI have brought the price down, Scotty Cameron have maintained their 429 price point, which is, you know, it's juicy, isn't it? It's, it's juicy for a putter. But if it holds putts, then why not? You get that lovely little click off of Scotty Cameron. Feels lovely. I mean, that 9.5 absolutely looks brilliant behind the golf ball. I really like how clean the, sh the top edge of that is. Let me have a little putt with a model that I would putt with. Let me just grab one that's got a grip. It's probably not a good advert, is it? Putting with a tailor-made stripe with a Scotty Cameron putter, but we'll, we'll see if it works. A little bit more detail on the top. I mean, push a few more putters. I mean, that feels lovely off the face, I will say, guys, that feels absolutely fantastic. With, the, with What is brilliant with the Scotty Camera range is with so many models and so many heads and neck, there's, there's a lot of good options to find something that you like the look of. And hopefully one day you can hold one, there you go. So overall, really good range of putters, just an upgrade from the original Phantom I think it's going to do really well. Look, at the end of the day, it's a it's a Scotty Cameron putter, so it is going to do very, very well. But like I say, just be wary of that price point. 429 is really, really expensive, especially when you've got some real high-tech technology in the AI1 and the Spider at probably around somewhere between 100 and 150 pound cheaper. So although I'm a big Scotty fan and although I putt with it, what I would say is if you're looking to upgrade the putter, make sure you try this alongside Spider, alongside the AI range, because you might just find you can make a saving of 100 to 150 pounds. Look, we're all about making sure that you guys get the right product, and we don't want to on this channel ever give you content that is just 
blowing smoke up a putter's backside. You know, we don't want to be doing that. We want to be giving you some honest content where, you know, this is a great putter. I love this putter. I would putt with this tomorrow. Absolutely, I'll put it in my bag because I love the shape of the head. That fits my eye. But it is 429 pounds. It's not 249, 269, 279 that you may be able to get in a AI1 Odyssey or in the Spyland. But it's your money, you've got to buy what you want, and more importantly, you've got to get custom fit for that putter. So making sure you get the right length, lie, you might get the right um, toe hang. So do you want it face balanced? Do you want a bit toe hang? Do you want extreme toe hang? What do you need to help you putt better? And what you really want to make sure you do, and I'm a big fan of this, when you do go on the putting green, whatever sits behind the ball needs to feel like you can hold a putt. There's so much to do with confidence with this type of putter, or, or any type, this type of club, sorry, not this type of putter, this type of club, that you must make sure that if it is, you're committing to that 429 Scotty Cameron putter, you are 100% feeling confident over those three footers, over those 25 footers, to make sure that you can have a great round of golf. So let's give the new Phantom range from Scotty Cameron the AF Golf score. So let's start with look. Well, hey, Scotty Cameron putters look tremendous, don't they? They look absolutely phenomenal. I can't beat them in terms of the style. Some of the new heads, the 9.5 head looks just absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 for look. In terms of feel, well, I'm a, this, is a, this is a hard one, Phil, because it is very, very subjective and it is related to how I like it as a golfer. As a golfer, I love putting with a standard milled face. Like, it, it, it fits the way I like. So I, I might be a little bit biased with this because I am putting with this type of putter anyway. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for Phil because I really do enjoy putting with this type of putter. I can see why some wouldn't, but I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Custom options. Well... There's not a lot with Scotty. Um, they don't like to change the grip. There's a few length options, 33, 34, 35. It doesn't really um, have much customization available to it. Most uh, All Scotties are built out in the US, so they come over pre-built into the UK. So there isn't a huge amount of customization. We can tweak lie, we can tweak loft a little, but there's not a huge customization with this. So for that, I'm gonna have to give it a five out of 10. In terms of price, as I said earlier, they've put the price into that 400 plus bracket this year. It is higher than most of their competitors by a considerable margin. I know you have the milled, if you're gonna compare, you have the milled from um, Odyssey, which kind of would sit next to this as a direct comparison, I've talked, but it's still 50 to 100 pound more expensive. So it is a very, very expensive putter but we know why they do that. They wanna be a premium product and that's absolutely fine. So, but the price is high. So I think we're gonna to have to give the price a five out of 10. In terms of overall performance, well, they've got those seven heads. The Scotty Cameron range gives an option for everybody. There's so much choice there in terms of the alignment aids, the look, the length. There is enough options there. In terms of performance, well, again, I might be a little bit biased because I do part with one. I'm gonna give overall performance a seven out of 10. So that for us gives an AF Golf Store score for the Phantom Scotty Cameron putter of 35 out of 50. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. We do enjoy doing a putter review. So I hope that helped and will guide you in making a few more putts this year. Remember, if you like our videos, please hit that subscribe button and tell all your golfing friends.